The Legacy continues, announcing the number five combination fin tube machine. With over 55 years of manufacturing experience, McElroy continues to offer innovative fin tube equipment and complete tube handling systems. This new machine now features less moving parts, quieter operation, new digital electronic components, and the same versatility as before. The number five is powered by two 20 horsepower VAC motors with digital interface, encoder and software which offers infinite control and synchronization of tube speed with the primary forming roller and spindle roll. The digital components are user friendly and offer more precise speed control with visual reference at the operator station. In addition, when the machine is in the embedding process, the operator can now control the timing of the plunge and withdrawal of the overarm to minimize the number of fins not embedded during coast down or stop. Our standard safety interlocks are included on this new model, as well as an added shutdown button on the front and back side of the machine. The smart card logic of the new digital controller has simplified troubleshooting should machine settings have changed due to operator setting changes. The original machine settings can be returned by reinstalling the smart card. The overarm and drive chuck air pressure gauges have been moved to the operator side of the machine for timely reference by the operator. The washer fluid tank has also been redesigned to fit under the bare tube rack and with the recent internal tank redesign, less cleaning solvent is used and the tank is easier to clean. By the reduction in moving parts, maintenance times have been reduced and procedures simplified. The overall spares package has also been reduced and mechanical parts reduced. The number five machine continues to offer the same versatility to the end user. This machine is capable of finning tube sizes ranging from 9 16 inch, 14.29 millimeters, to a maximum of two inches, 50.8 millimeters. When tooled with the appropriate hardware, the machine can apply wrap-on, overlapped footed, wrap-on knurled footed, edge wound and embedded fins at fin heights from a quarter inch, 6.35 millimeters, to one inch, to 5.4 millimeters high. The maximum fin height for embedded and wrap-on knurled footed fin has recently increased to 1.04 inches on 1.5 inch tube OD. We also offer pitches from 4 FPI to 13 FPI, depending upon tube OD and fin type. Don't forget that this machine is capable of applying carbon steel embedded fin and stainless steel embedded fins as well. Our complete finning line offers everything you need for efficient operation. Standard with this machine is the tube descrambler. The descrambler is designed to safely store a complete bundle of bare tube. The bundle is loaded in its entirety into the descrambler. The packaging or straps then removed by the operator. When set in motion, the cradling belts tighten or loosen to feed tubes into the incline rack that feeds into the quick change bare tube rack. The rack senses the need for more or less tubes and automatically continues to load tubes to the rack and the machine. Essentially, you can load a bundle of tubes at the beginning of the shift and run for the entire shift without additional personnel or downtime to load additional tubes. Estimated tube capacity for 1 inch and 1.25 inch OD tubes is 91 tubes with a bundle size of 15.5 inches wide by 13 inches tall. The quick change bare tube rack can be changed over for different bare tube sizes in less than 15 minutes. In other words, at one central location in the middle of each rack set, an operator can adjust the full 40, 50, or 60 foot length with three simple adjustments. The output or quick change fin tube rack can also be reset in approximately 15 minutes for the specific fin OD. Proper adjustment of the bare tube and fin tube rack assures you a better control of the tube and improved quality of the final fin tube at maximized production speed. Integral to the quick change fin tube rack is the automated mandrel return. The mandrel which precedes and protects the fin tube as it progresses through the rack is ejected from the finished fin tube. As the operator ejects the fin tube to the storage rack, he also recalls the mandrel and it returns to the operator position for connection to the next tube. Your operator remains at the operator station, allowing the spindle to turn and your production to continue.
The automated mandrel feature and its integral intermittent finning feature is controlled by an onboard computer and encoder. Infinite ungrooved or unknurled portions of a tube can be programmed into the machine to control the raising and lowering of the overarm automatically at designated spots for bare, ungrooved, or unknurled segments in the tube or for the required strip back at each tube end. The onboard management reporting system allows you to collect specific production information on each job and by each operator. The management reporting system can be connected to your intranet and data downloaded in Excel format. It also allows the operator to record each tube as a unique part number which can be recalled for future production runs. The operator simply inserts the part number and the machine returns to the settings used in its prior production. Optional equipment is available for your finning machine line as well. McElroy's level wound payoff system tucks neatly below the bare tube rack, upstream of the existing slit payoff table, or can be positioned at the end of the rack. Hardware for placement at the end or on either side of the rack is included with the payoff. Approximately 90 inches or 2,286 millimeters of clear unobstructed area beyond the active tube center line is required to allow the safety guard to swing open for coil loading and unloading. Designed to handle coils of fin stock of up to 1,200 pounds and maximum outside diameter of 36 inches, you reduce the downtime required for handling, loading, and feeding of the fin stock. Essentially, one level wound coil will replace eight pancake coils of slit fin stock. Conservatively, you can anticipate a 10% increase in production time per shift. The payoff system comes complete with three horsepower, C-Face, AC motor, and is capable of fin strip speeds up to 13 feet or 4 meters per second. Onboard software allows the payoff to sense the speed of the machine and the need for more or less strip automatically. Acceleration or braking of the payoff system is matched to the production speed of the finning machine with uniform tension on the strip. Level wound coils of aluminum or copper fin stock are provided with minimal lubrication on the strip. Therefore, it is necessary to add an oiler to the machine to provide a consistent and even application of oil to the strip. Currently, Richard's Apex 87 is the recommended lubricant for either level wound or pancake coil aluminum or copper fin stock. Shown here on the McElroy No. 5 machine, the felt wipers are lubricated and the spring-loaded clip provide consistent pressure on the fin strip as it is fed to the strip guides. Another optional feature again limits the need for personnel to handle tubes once they are finned. Embedded in wrap-on knurled-footed fin tubes grow in length during finning and must be cut to length. Typically, this operation is done offline with the tubes being rehandled. When you select the saw-ready quick-change fin tube rack, you can install the necessary tube support table and saw. The finished fin tube is ejected from the rack and moved down the rack. The tube is then dumped to the saw support rack, where the tube is positioned to the manually set stop and then positioned into the saw. The tail end of the tube is cut automatically to length, unclamped from the jaws of the saw, and then ejected from the saw application. Another optional feature to again save duplicate handling of the fin tube is our basket filler feature. The basket level loading system can be ordered to your specific tube length. The design baskets and crates can be built in 20-foot segments and have been designed to comply with OSHA and ASME codes. Drawings for the manufacture of the baskets or crates are provided to the end user at the time the system is purchased. The loading mechanism of the basket filler is positioned to the top level of the container being loaded. A slight incline of the basket filler positions allows the first and subsequent tubes to roll to the lowest position and then across the row. When the row is filled, the operator indicates indexes the row down, places dividers or spacers as required, and returns to running the machine. Manual offloading of fin tubes is essentially eliminated with this option. Auxiliary equipment such as zinc mold rack or specialized work cells could be customized for your specific process or application. Simply let us know your requirements. Contact us for further information and view our website at www.mcelroy.com. Find the latest news and tools along with multimedia presentations of tooling and fin applications. 
McElroy Manufacturing Incorporated continues to develop the technology to provide you additional expanded capability. With over 55 years of industry experience, we have worked closely with our customer base to answer their specific needs as well as the industry's needs. Expect the latest in finning technology from McElroy Manufacturing Incorporated, the leader by design.